Cyber psychology is interested in understanding why people use these different forms of technology, how they use them, and also the impacts of engaging with various forms of technology on individuals and society. Okay, so the Masters is a relatively new course. This first ran in 2017. So we've got um, several different modules that they study. We have a module on applied cyber psychology, which that's my module that I lead on. And in that we learn about the applications of cyber psychology for things like education, uh, things like health and psychological health and well-being. And then there's another module on everyday use of cyber psychology, so kind of use of social media, things like that. So it's quite a diverse range of things which actually just reflects the area of cyber psychology as a whole, which is really quite diverse. Studying for a PhD in cyber psychology here at the University of Wolverhampton, it really means studying under experts in the field. It means using state-of-the-art resources, and they're predominantly located in our new cyber psychology research lab. My PhD research primarily focuses on uh, online dating and it focuses on the selection uh, decisions that people make when they're searching for a partner. I have applied virtual reality to those who experience public speaking anxiety and looked mainly into the audience and different features in and around the audience. We really want to be liked by the audience when we give a public speech. In virtual reality we can kind of mess with the audience and get them to give off different non-verbal cues which can help us see whether or not anxiety can be impacted by our audience. It's important to understand the psychology of how humans interact with various forms of digital technology because these forms of technology are ubiquitous, they're all around us, they affect us on an everyday basis. It's difficult to imagine any day that would go by that we wouldn't be connected in some shape or form um, to others via the internet or via these different forms of technology. Such a core part of our lives nowadays that almost every industry you could think of has some contact with and uses digital technologies in some way. Um, but then obviously there are certain industries that are particularly um, enmeshed with digital technology which cyber psychology can have a particular impact on. So uh, things like cyber security for example or e-health, so like electronic health where you use digital technologies to support various health interventions and things like that. We like to think that we're, we're building something for the future. We, we put a strong emphasis on quality, a strong emphasis on employability. We're passionate about our research, but we're, we're also equally passionate about providing really excellent higher education for people in the region, nationally and internationally.